Hey guys, welcome back to another video. All right, so everybody's favorite enforcer of the rules of Halloween is back in full force this year. That's right, you guys wanted something different? Well, how about a trick-or-treat Sam in the box, if you will? But yeah, it's just Sam in a Jack in the box. Let's check it out. Alright guys, but first let's check out the box. So check this out. This is from Mezco and it's called Burst a Box. So it's basically our favorite horror slashers or horror characters in a jack-in-the-box. And it's pretty darn unique. So check this out. You got Sam here from Trick or Treat. He stands about 14 inches tall when fully popped. And check out the side. Look how cool that is. And you can see some artwork from the film. Then there it is, burst the box. There's Sam popped up and there he is fully um, contained in that jack in the box. And then there's some wordage. I'm not gonna go over the wordage, but if you guys want to pause the video and read all about it, there you go. But that's enough of this box. Let's take him out. All right, here he is, Sam, burst the box out of the box and check this out um i mean mezco love them or hate them they ain't scared to try anything new and that's one thing i really love about this company uh, i've been getting the uh the um the mezco designer series figures lately if you guys have been watching my videos um i just did a few of them very recently and um some people might think they're cartoony i absolutely love them they just nail it with detail but this is supposed to be just a little bit goofy. I mean, check this out. It's Sam, <laughs> but he's just in a box. And look at this, this is so cool. I mean, this is a straight up collector's piece, if you ask me. Um, I know they do other ones. I gotta look up and see. I know they did a Jason, and I think they did a Pennywise, and I think they did a Michael Myers, but I gotta look it up and see um, all the figures that they stuffed in the Jack in the Box, gave the Jack jack-in-the-box treatment wow look at that so that's one thing i just love all the imagery from this movie i absolutely love this movie sam's are everywhere this year every time i turn a corner in a store i see sam and even a couple years ago even last year i couldn't find anything sam but check out the backdrop that they gave us on this thing that is awesome it's really big too so you can put sam dead center of this backdrop if you guys want to post them up in your collection like this, display them like this, I love it. All right, but let's get back to the Sam in the box here. One thing I was curious about, which I had no idea, I didn't know much about these at all, um, if this was gonna be actual burlap, which it's not. It's actually made of hard molded plastic here. As you can see his face, it's the Sam, not the pumpkin head Sam, but the burlap sack Sam. Give you guys a nice close up of that. Looks like that stitching goes all the way up and around and then you got the rope on the bottom there holding it all together and then we got his classic orange and yellow pajamas and they look dirty which you're supposed to and then you got the classic yellow patches here that looks great so they nailed that look at this it's supposed to stand 14 inches tall but one thing i'm curious about is because i honestly don't know does it play the classic jack-in-the-box theme or did they take it up to the next level and give us that song from Trick or Treat. That's taking it to the next level, so let's see. So yeah, obviously he plays the classic Jack in the Box song, which um, yeah, that would have been just so cool if they would have given us some kind of song from the movie. Uh, but let's put them back in there. And then there's the top. I didn't show you guys the top yet, but that is awesome. And then on the bottom here, we got the Mezco Toys, the Burst the Box logo right there. So looking at their website here, it says that it's 14 inches tall when popped. I already mentioned that. Uh, tin Music Box uh, from the horror film Trick or Treat. Fully functioning Jack in the Box or Sam in the Box. Features a burlap sack head sculpt 
with button eyes and orange pajamas. This is pretty darn unique. This is pretty original. That's why I said I love Mezco. They're not afraid to try anything new. So putting our favorite guys from horror movies inside of a box and playing the Jack in the Box theme. It's pretty risky, but I think in this case it kind of pays off. I love it. Also, I do like the head sculpt here. I think they uh, got a pretty good detail of uh, burlap around his head here. And I love his button eyes, even though it's hard molded, uh, hard molded sculpt here. I still like the look of this head. I like the look of his pajamas. They give us a nice dingy look here. And the box actually feels very, very high quality. It's really sturdy for a tin box. Other things I like about this is I love the artwork on this box. I think this looks awesome. All right, what don't I like about this? Well, um, I've never been a big fan of the Jack in the Box song, so it's a little preschool for me. I kind of wish they somehow got a song from the movie to play in the box. I don't know how they would have done it. It just would have been awesome instead of the classic Jack in the Box song. Also, I kind of wish since they went cloth with the pajamas here, I kind of wish they went, you know, an actual burlap sack for the head instead of uh, a, you know, hard plastic sculpt up here. Or at the very least, give us some real button eyes with actual uh, thread going through the eyes. Um, so that's one thing I kind of wish that they did. But those are my only dislikes of this thing. Um, I think it's great and I wasn't planning on getting any one of these things until I saw Sam But now because of this now I kind of want to go out and get the Jason or uh, I think Pennywise I have to look it up again and see which ones are available. Okay, so yeah, it looks like they have uh, Billy from Saw, uh, Freddy Krueger uh, Sam uh, Pennywise Chucky and Jason from Friday the 13th part 7 now, That's interesting so I wonder why they went part seven with it. But wow, that Jason does look awesome. I might pick up the Freddy, Pennywise, Chucky, Jason. I don't know. They're pretty expensive for what it is. I think I paid 43 bucks for this on Big Bad Toy Store. Is this a must have? Not really. If you're a hardcore collector like myself, then yeah, you're probably gonna wanna pick this up. Or if you're just a fan of anything trick or treat, which I am. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of Mezco's new Burst of Box Sam from Trick or Treat? I, mean, I think he's great. If you guys are looking for something uh, original and unique and uh, something unlike just the normal figures that you guys have in your collection, I think this is right up your alley. Also, I will leave a link below to where I got this. I got this at Big Bad Toy Store, and um, I'm not sure who's going to be cheaper, Big Bad Toy Store or Amazon, but I'll leave both links below. Just for you guys, I'm not sponsored by either one of those, obviously. I'm just trying to hook you guys up. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go! Don't you never let him get you from your mammy's door, cause mammy loves you so. Can't you run and don't look back until you get to Paddy Shack, the bogeyman is here.